you are here today uh, representing the view of the uh, Jews, Jews. The help of the Almighty Jews who are true to the Torah, true to the Jewish religion, to clarify to the world that what is being perpetrated in Gaza today is a, to is a crime, a base crime. Uh, it's an atrocity that has no uh, legitimacy according to the Jewish religion. In fact, Judaism has always opposed the creation of the State of Israel. We are a religion subservience to God. We, we are not a nationalism. This Zionism that started a mere hundred odd years ago uh, and eventually was uh, solidified in their creation of the state of Israel. This ideology, Zionism, is a transformation purely from religion to, to nationalism. It has no basis in the Torah. The Torah, in fact, clearly states that we are uh, forbidden since the destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago to create our own sovereignty. And that is why we never did for 2,000 years. We went through the Inquisition, uh, the Crusades, and many other trials and tribulations. We never bought one inch of land to create a state because it's against our religion and it's certainly we are forbidden to kill and to steal and to oppress another people so what is being done in the name of Judaism the so-called return to the land that God gave us is, is a vile uh, misrepresentation of our religion and the ones who are doing this as a general rule are non-religious uh, from uh, Nathaniel all the way back to Theodor Herzl they were people who, d who despised the religion Theodor Herzl did not circumcise his son one of the basics of the covenant of the Jewish covenant uh, they don't keep the Sabbath they don't keep the commandments they simply using and abusing our religion as a facade to uh, to somehow give it a holiness uh, to legitimize in the eyes of the world what they're doing now let me just say this is not a religious conflict Zionists want to portray this as it's a religious conflict between Muslims and Jews again this is this is despicable Jews have uh, flourished in Arab and Muslim lands for hundreds of years without any human rights groups to protect us this Zionism came along and destroyed all this coexistence in Palestine we lived door by door babysat each other's children Zionism destroyed all of this why because they have a selfish flawed political movement and goal to take over the land this is nothing to, to do with our religion we want the world to understand this we, we cry this with the suffering of the Palestinian people and the people in Gaza we want the world to hear that they are purely victims the people in Gaza and they are victims by uh, of, of a people of a movement that is uh, that is violent and that is uh, uh, villains that has nothing no 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 any uh, manner of legitimizing it according to the Jewish religion let the world know that they should de be able to uh, somehow judge the, the the issue in a different light than they have been doing for 66 years it is this this was happening in Gaza is just one more link in a chain of crimes that they've been doing since the creation of the state we've been standing as Jews protesting their existence and their crimes well over 66 years in Palestine and our people have been assassinated and killed and beaten by the Zionists. We will continue standing and opposing them and, and broadcasting to the world that in the, invariably around the world you go to the mo more religious communities whether it's right across from Manhattan and Brooklyn and Williamsburg or in Al-Quds that's in Jerusalem or in London and Stamford Hills you won't find a single Israeli flag in, in, in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. The largest concentration of religious Jews in, 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 you, in every very religious area you will find that they are almost entirely opposed to the state of Israel and its actions. Let the world know that. We pray for the speedy, God help, total and peaceful dismantlement of this uh, Im um, impediment to peace, the state of Israel. Remove it and it, uh, stop this rebellion against God and stop the endless river of bloodshed because they are the root cause of the bloodshed of both Muslims, Arabs, Palestinians and Jewish people.